reticulating activating system. And if you do get clear on what the goals are, get them written down, your brain, which is a wonderful thing, there's only about 4% of it is our conscious brain. This is the stuff that we work on day in, day out. This subconscious, this 96% of your brain is working in the background all the time. By setting your targets and your goals, getting them in writing, works on this and it goes to work itself. Absolutely proven fact. This is scientific fact. You can put um, um, electrodes on your brain and do all sorts of stuff, but your RAS, your reticulating activating system, works. But I think that goes down to even, you know, someone rings up and you write it down, you might, for an appointment or something, you might have to go back and see it again. But if you didn't write it down, you'd forget it. Uh -huh. mm. So there's a combination of what, what you write down is another, another way of making your brain remember. Yeah, that's exactly right. So go back to the goal setting power in your head. So, so what, yeah, this, what, this, this 4% here, um, there are lots of doubters, and I was one of these doubters four or five years ago. I got a lot done in my life without necessarily having um, a lot of structure around my goals. But we did do lots of planning and we did write lots of stuff down prior to us um, getting in the, the coaching mode. So, this afternoon is also about how we actually set our goals for the next 90 days. Um, power of written goals, another one just a reminder for the new ones. 3% of the population have written goals as a general rule, 98% of the world. There's another reason to have written down goals and get clarity. So what we're going to do now is get into your 90 day plan. So open your 90 day planning books up at page 17 please. 